Okay, now I think we're unmuted. Hey guys, if you can hear us say, give us a one in the chat because we're here for you on Friday. We counted you down to another weekend. And today we're gonna to be talking about all about fiber, the real truth about fiber. We're gonna ask you a question because we have something, it's a secret weapon type of food because it's- Is it veggie veggie? Because veggie veggie is here. That's full of fiber, veggie veggie. Hey, veggie veggie. <laughs> but it's a food that a lot of people don't think about when it comes to fiber. And we'll give you a few seconds to guess what it is. Type in the chat what you think it might be that we're going to be talking about today. The food we're going to talk about today. What, the one particular food? There are so many foods of fiber. There are so many foods of fiber, but there's one particular one we're going to talk about today. And LaCruz is going to share a great recipe with you on how to incorporate it into your faves. Fruits and vegetables every, every spread. spread. So that being said, while they're typing that into the chat, the Queen Marie, we're gonna go ahead with a five minute story. I'm gonna give them a chance to guess and then we'll give them the answer. While we wait, let's play, Matt. You wanna play that Master Herbless Yaki Awakens video? No, Mary Mighty Poju is ready for the five minute oh, story as well as TWP popcorn. Hey, hey, y'all. <laughs> TWP is like, that's ready coffee for a ranch. Okay, okay, let's make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Corey, with the five minute story time. Well, that's gonna give them the answer, but I'll go ahead and give you the answer. We're gonna reach down to Yes, we'll tell them in the story. Tell them five minute the story time. And show you our, our secret weapon. During today. the story, get so, going. Now, I ask you a question. There's certain questions that have to be asked when you go to a family function. One of those questions, you all know what it is, is who made the potato salad? <laughs> <laughs> now, when it comes to potato salad, there are lots of different ways to make it, but a lot of people don't think about the potato being a secret ingredient for lots of fiber, and potato salad being a dish that can be loaded with fiber. But it can, depending on where you get your potato salad from, and again, who made, made the, the potato, potato salad. salad. Now, there's a big difference from the potato salad that you get in the store, from your local grocery store in the deli, where you're gonna have potatoes, of course, which are in themselves good, but then it's gonna be loaded with other ingredients. None of them going to contain the fiber that the potato has. But when you get La Queen Marie's potato salad, mm -mm. Deli just like her, it's delicious and very satisfying, but it's also very nutritious. Now, that's why you always have to ask, who made the potato salad? Especially when it comes to going to certain family functions and social events where people are bringing food potluck style. And it can also save your life in other ways. Such is the case with one of my relatives who made the bomb potato salad. But you always were wary of other ingredients that might have accidentally gotten into it. Mm. You see, I had a cousin. She was older than I was, and she was many years older than I was, and she's no longer with us. And she was known throughout my mother and father's hometown as being one of the best cooks around. People would beg her to make coconut pies. They would beg her to make pecan pies. They would beg her to make uh, pineapple upside down cake. And of course, they would beg her to make potato salad for every church function, family reunion, and cookout that ever was. Those people didn't have the inside secrets that me and my family had. Mm -hmm. Whenever we would get together for any of those functions and we would see my cousin, daddy around, we always would look at each other and say, who made the potato salad? The reason being is because Betty was a very loving person, but she had a few things that she would engage in that would not you would not want to eat anything that came out of her kitchen. One, Betty always had issues with cataracts and she would stop in the middle of cooking to put eye drops in her eye and then go right back to fixing the food that she was gonna serve to other people. Betty also was the type of person that engaged in an occasional dip of snuff. And she would talk while she was dipping snuff and while she was cooking food that she was gonna serve to everybody else. So whenever the story, whenever these family functions and church functions came around and we knew that Betty Lou came in with a basket full of goodies, we would always stop and ask that familiar question, who made the potato salad? Because in addition to any fiber that might be in there, there might be some extra ingredients that may include eye drops, tobacco snuff, 
and whatever else she could find as far as rubbing her hands down with Bengay in the middle of her cooking and preparation. Wait, I thought she was smoked too. No, she didn't smoke. Oh, sorry. I had a cigarette here she and everything. Drank, but she drank. <laughs> oh, oh, that should have been a glass. Okay. <laughs> but she did drink and she did all these things while she was cooking. And again, only for the brave at heart and those who didn't mind a, a busted belly would only eat with anything that came out of their kitchen with asking who made the potato salad. And that's the story of, of my cousin Betty. But fortunately, when it comes to who made the potato salad, nobody ever asked that question with suspicion. When Laquita Marie brings a big bowl of her famous potato salad to any functions that we've been asked to serve, bring food potluck style. When they say, ooh, who made the potato salad? That's what we get whenever Laquita Marie brings a potato salad. And we're gonna talk about that today as we're talking about fiber. We're gonna talk about fiber and how it is the key ingredient for managing chronic diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure. We're going to talk about how fiber is key to also managing your weight. So we want to hear from you. How do you eat potatoes? How Coach do Mary potatoes? Ma already has hashtag the home team. Y'all continue to put that in. You know, this is a 30 minute talk show. We hit it, we quit it, we're in and we're out. And we want to talk to you while you're here. And of course, on the replay, leave in the comments, how, how do you, you eat, eat potatoes? potatoes? Not just potato salad, but how do you eat potatoes? Now, of course, uh, uh, Veggie Veggie is like, ooh, Cousin Betty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. And yeah. Coach Mary Ma, thank you, saying Laquita excellently showing your story, Corey. <laughs> So let us know how you all enjoy potatoes. Do you enjoy boiled potatoes, fried potatoes, potato salad, breakfast potatoes like cubed up and fried in a skillet with onions? <laughs> Give us some potato recipes. Of course, we'll share one with you. But one of the main reasons we're talking about potatoes today is because of the fiber. Y'all know we love our faves, fruits and vegetables every day. And you'll have some people that say, Stay away from this particular vegetable. Stay away from, um, or this particular carb, this particular grain. But fruits and vegetables are pretty universal. There's usually not too much controversy. And even though potato is considered a starchy vegetable, oh, there's a lot of benefits. So we want to hear some new recipes. I like mashed potatoes. I like a lot of different ways. I know my favorite is baked or boiled potatoes. I love boiled potatoes when you put it with cabbage or put it in collard greens. I also love uh, baked potatoes. I can just eat a boiled potato plain with a little bit of salt, a little touch of butter. And it, I love them. And I found that when especially when eating baked potatoes or boiled potatoes, I always eat the skin because the skin is where you skin get a is lot in. Of nutrients. That's where the nutrients are, and that's where a lot of the fiber is uh, found as well. So. Well, you know, Coach Mary Ma says, I love my sweet potatoes roasted. I enjoy mashed Irish potatoes. Yes, oh, you know, right. so that's where uh, whenever I roast sweet potatoes, uh, uh, when I, we were younger, the only way we knew to eat them was... Uh, uh -huh. Well, not just in a pie, but I mean, we would bake them. Yes, yeah, sweet potato pie, yes. But we would bake them and we would always put butter and sugar. I didn't even know spinach, adding spinach or adding avocado to sweet potatoes was a thing until I grew up and found some new things. Uh, so we also have a trash can saying chicken skin and red skin, my favorites. And let me tell you, I used to, I used to love chicken skin for the fat. People be like, ooh, pull off the skin off the chicken. When I was eating chicken, yes, chicken skin was my thing. Um, now, red skin, I hope you're talking about red skin potatoes. Red skin potatoes, they're no longer red skin, so. <laughs> Uh, but either way, Rambo is in here. You know, TWP Popcorn said, you know how he said he likes his, yes, infused and baked. <laughs> that's what's Not popping. half baked, right, but baked. Just baked, right. That's what's popping. I'm talking, that's what I'm saying. So of course, Trash Can Waves is in here. Make sure you all are putting in hashtag yeah, the home, home team, because he got every word. He got fam, damn, the fan, everything in there, <laughs> but except for hashtag the home team. So put it in there. So everybody's chatting it up. Make sure as you say hello to everybody, you tell us what Rambo was telling us. How do you eat potatoes? We need some new recipes as well. We know that potatoes are full of fiber. Just don't eat Cousin Betty's potato salad because she dipping snuff, she drinking beer, she putting in eye drops. Look, what was she? being gay on her hands. Oh yeah, and then stirring that same pot. Roast the sweet potatoes in the char roast the sweet potatoes in the charcoal. Yes, Rambo. That's how you really get the flavor of the fire on them when you put them right on the charcoal. I love all right, it. All right, go ahead, Rambo. We gotta call you Chef Rambo Green Hands. Yeah, you know, Coach Mary says avocados are yum yum. I didn't know they went with so many things. You know, I had avocado on a sandwich this morning. 
Speaking of faves, oh, you made the uh, you made the um, potato, potato salad, salad with avocado instead of mayonnaise. Yeah, man, that was so good. That was so good. Use avocados like mayo. If you don't, if you love mayonnaise uh, and you love avocado, you really can't tell the difference when you put it on like a mayonnaise. So definitely, thank you, Rambo, for putting in hashtag the home team. Of course, he has it in there along with trash can waves. Yeah, get these plates running too. Oh yeah, we're putting y'all in the plate race because y'all were here in the first five minutes. So if you have not used avocados for mayonnaise, do that. Now let me uh, let me tell you what was on my sandwich this morning. And Corey, as I tell them, you make sure that we have everybody in the plate race because you help me remember the names. We got Rambo Green Hands, yep. Trash Can Waves, mm -hmm. Mary Ma. Mm -hmm. And somebody else. Veggie Veggie was here. Veggies. Yes. And was Mary Ryan Porter on there? Yes. Okay. As well as uh, Belize Uchi. Belize Uchi. Belize Uchi. Yes, we got all of our Nigerians. Yes. So they were in here right from the beginning for the story. Um, there was somebody else that you said, Veggie Veggie. But either way, y'all, what was I going to tell them? About what was on your sandwich this morning. Okay, so this morning I had a seasoned tofu where I just marinated it in some uh, liquid aminos. I made like a vinaigrette with vi salt, vinegar, oil, and sugar, right? The salt was my, uh, what did I use? I used uh, just the liquid aminos. That was the salt. The sugar was just like a, a half a teaspoon of sugar. I used mustard. I used, um, I didn't use vinegar this morning. And I used the seasonings from my Renaissance grandma just as a flavoring and marinated that. I added cucumber to the sandwich and avocados, man. And I toasted the bread. You talking about something good? Be sure to click the like button if that sounds good to you. Thanks, Gail at Night, for that reminder. All right, Gail at Night, the moderator queen holding it down for the Blue Ridge team. And you know, uh, co uh, Rambo says, I cook very well, thank you. <laughs> All right, Chef, Chef Rambo Green Hands. Yeah, because uh, Coach Mary Ma said, you know some delicious, you know some delicacies, Rambo. Charcoal roasting is another level. You know, she's from Cameroon. Cooking on the fire anywhere but in the States, they know about cooking on the fire. When you go to South America, all the different countries there, Brazil, Peru, when you go to Africa, all the different countries there, Cameroon, when you go to the island countries, Jamaica, Trinidad, everybody knows about cooking on the fire except for us here. So, so you gotta say it, Rambo and Green Hands. Go on, put your sweet potato on the charcoal because the fire brings more fire. <laughs> Well, you know, he's saying hello to Nikki because we got the number one thug. Opnish in the house. The everyday life of an OCTS chick. We're finding out from you all, how do you like your potatoes? Because that's what we're talking about today. How you can get your fiber from potatoes. We're going to show you a quick clip right after, uh, right before we put you all into the plate race. So I'll make sure the plate race <laughs> is all set up while, you show, while we show you this quick clip. This clip comes from Master Herbalist Yaki Awaken. He's talking about fiber and the difference of fiber because we want you to choose meals over Metamucil. A lot of times when people think about fiber, they say, and they say, well, I'm not, they, no, I'm not getting enough fiber. They want to grab the stuff off the shelf, that orange nasty powder called Metamucil. Doctors from the physician committee. They do um, not recommend Peter. Medicine. They do not recommend peanut butter and eggplant. The people from the physicians committee for responsible medicine trash can waves. What do the PCRM physicians committee for responsible medicine recommend? They say that ninety seven percent of Americans are not getting enough fiber. So that ten people in the room, only three of them are getting enough fiber. Now, Miriam's getting her fiber. Thank you, Miriam. When it comes to getting the fiber, you want to get the right kind of fiber. And Yaki Awaken, Master Herbalist Yaki Awaken, he recommends that we get it from our vegetables and our fruits, especially eating the skin. You don't take our word for it. Take Master Herbalist Yaki Awaken's word for it because you don't want to get the metamucil and get hooked on that because that's essentially hooking your body on a drug. So we're going to show you this clip so that you can hear what Master Herbalist Yaki Awaken has to say. Absolutely. So here we go. It's just a short clip. I'll make sure that we pipe down so that you hear what he has to say. And this is about mm, 30 seconds or so. Y'all know I sped it up. So I'm gonna come for me. Let me make sure the volume is. You talking about isolated fiber? Yeah. No, that's bad. You get your fiber from your food, your leafy greens and vegetable fiber and the skin of your fruit. Apple, they wax off of it first. Dipping in some boiling water a few times. Eat your apples, eat your grapes, eat your fruits and your vegetables. That's where your fiber comes from. Once you isolate the chemistry, it becomes a drug. So now your body's gonna become dependent on that fiber. Even though it makes you go to the bathroom, it's solidified.
behind it, patch him up. You have to play with the fire. We got terrible defense. That's isolated fire. My first question is. All right, y'all. Hopefully, y'all <laughs> heard it. Did you want to recap just in case it was too fast for him? So somebody it? was talking about isolated fiber, and the isolated fiber is what you find in Metamucil. And when you alter the fiber from its natural state, it's just like anything else. It becomes a drug. Your body can become dependent on it, and you won't have those smooth moves without it. You'll start to actually get backed up and not and have a traffic a log jam. Now he said that you want to make sure you get your fiber, your whole fiber, from the fruits and vegetables that you eat, especially incorporating the peel of the fruits. So that's what you want to do. You don't want the isolated fiber that you get off the shelf. You want it from the Metamucil. You want to get it from your meals, the things you put on your plate, your fruits and vegetables, every spread. Now, I will say this with the uh, fruits and vegetables, every spread, and the meals versus Metamucil. We, fiber, how does fiber work? A lot of people don't well, know. Well, Gwen makes a mean sweet potato pie. Okay. They can watch Yaki Awaken if they want to know how fiber works. But I know that you're going to give them the brief version, like just our yeah, one sentence mantra. We're talking about fiber, not protein trash can. We know you've been known to hand out some protein. <laughs> fiber is the fuel for your body that helps to fight it helps with fat removal and fighting diseases. It ushers all those things out of your body that could cause you trouble and then helps and then eliminates it along with other, all the other waste products that are coming along that you're eating. So fiber, that's what you want. That's the number one secret magic weapon when it comes to managing uh, um, chronic diseases and managing weight loss. Now that particular video that we just showed is in the video description. So if you want to see the whole thing, it's only like what a five minute video or something, six minutes, it's six minutes and change. And of course I watch it. I was watching it on double time, but let's bring in the food race so we can see who gets here first. Uh, now with this first plate race, that means you made it here in the first five minutes. So, so you made it into the uh, blue ribbon plate race is what we're calling this. All right, so let me know when you're ready, Laquita. Um, I think I'm ready now. now keep in mind, it's ready. I think something in the internet. Can y'all see the race? Let us know. It's happened. We've been doing great. And now it's, it's all Jack. No, you know what? Your veggie uh, is saying. If y'all can hear us or if we're glitching, let us know if we're glitching or not. Baked potatoes with a veggie med med medley mm -hmm. and homemade spicy salsa. That's what oh, I'm talking okay. about. That's a really delicious blend. Thank you, Gail at Night, for putting in Yaki Awakens information. Y'all he has a website, YouTube, and scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna put his uh, clip. I mean, I'm going to put his information lord now everything is popping up let me just do this there we go yaki is there and i'm gonna take the banner down because uh we're done talking about coffee <laughs> <laughs> all right corey you say something i'll say something and hopefully we can get this race going because nikki said that we were breaking up a bit um there were audio issues i'm just gonna turn the background music down that usually helps so you all thank you all for helping us with that veggie veggie and uh g albert i'm sorry you cannot be the unicorn duck today I, yes. you got to just be whatever you're gonna be all right are you ready yeah because you know um g albert out the queen thinks we can all process that four x speed on the videos i need a little uh, a little team to train up to be as good as miss laquita marie since my mama told me to respect my elders ma'am <laughs> Y'all, right. the link to the video is in the description. All right. Nikki is saying, let's go. I say, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. On your marks. Get set. Laquita Marie, what does fiber help you do? Go. All right. Let's see. Okay. Everybody just kind of chilling. Nobody's pulling ahead. Nobody's falling back. G. Albert is at the top. Um, look, Nikki talking about be whatever you're going to be. And Mary and Molly pulled you. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. OCD is chick. Oh, David Hunt. What? Tell me. <laughs> David Hunt. What kind of food was he? No, no. David, you know what? These are all ducks duck. today. Okay. Yes. So that's why he wanted to be a Unicorn certain duck. duck. Yeah, gotcha. David is a vampire duck. Okay. Uh, so it looks like Veggie Veggie was a clown duck. Uh, Octish was the unicorn duck. That's what G. Albert wanted mm -hmm. to be. But instead, he was like a regular old duck. 
Uh, look like a, he has a doctor's name. Anyways, first place, David Hunt. Second place, uh, Everyday Life of an OCD is Chick. Third place, TWP Popcorn. Uh, then we have Mary Mighty Poju, Trash Can Waves bringing in the top five. Veggie Veggie, Rambo Green Hands, Gail at Night, Belize Uchi. Hey, we got our Nigerian in there before the top 10. And Coach Mary Ma from Cameroon, top 10. And poor G. Albert pulling up the rear <laughs> as a doctor. Well, I guess he won't. But, you know, people were trying their hardest. Like, uh, Nikki is here saying congratulations. Um, let's see. We, have, we also have here all the way from Ghana. Our, one of our favorites, Prince Ioko. Oh, Prince Ioko. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I think we're glitching. I think we're breaking up. I think I'm going to have to switch our internet server because Prince Ioko is saying, greetings to you all, lovely family in the chat. Happy Friday to you all. Happy Friday to you, Prince Ioko. He's up there in Northern Ghana in Tamale. If you all don't know, he's in the region of Ghana that supplies three-fourths of the food for the country. So yes, greetings to you. And actually it's Chief, Chief Lamashegu. Uh, I'm, I won't say the rest, but y'all check Prince Ayoko's channel out. Nikki was very close in the race, but yes. Everybody saying hello to Prince Ayoko and Veggie Veggie wants a do-over. Do you think we should run it again, Corey? <laughs> we'll run it. Still, how about this? Still doing first place pony, we'll do first place dub. Okay. The race, okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we will run it again. If you put in hashtag the home team, you're probably already in there. But you know, we got Prince Ioko in here. I'm going to add him to the race so that way we can have a do over. Uh, and if you're in the states, we'll send you coffee because it's Friday. Okay. So saying congratulations. I know, right? David Hunt is traveling and he has won. That's what I'm talking about. So continue to let us know how you eat your potatoes. potatoes sweet potatoes red skin potatoes rest of potatoes irish potatoes do you eat them with the skin on do you take the skin off what do you do do you add like veggie veggie add vegetable medley and some homemade salsa to it i love my baked potatoes with broccoli in it. i love that combination absolutely now if you all are wondering um whether or not prince ioko eats potatoes check out his channel Gail at Night has dropped the link. So I'm going to leave that right there while I just do a couple of things here with the internet. And so we might disappear just for a moment, but don't worry um, that we will, you know, we, you'll still see the comments on the screen. So let's see, like we're still clear though. That's a good thing. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, let's keep it rolling. So again, guys, we're talking about fiber and how fiber is the ultimate so the ultimate secret weapon when it comes to managing chronic diseases and weight loss. Fiber is fuel for the body, is great for fat removal and for fighting diseases. But what but did you want to say about some of those other ingredients like chia, flax and all of those things, cacao? Yeah. Now, potatoes can't do it alone. Yes, potatoes are a source of fiber and the celery you put in the potato salad that Laquita uses is a source of fiber, but you can also get your fiber from other sources. Like Yaki Awaken said. Wait a minute. Yaki Awaken said what? Because Prince Ayoko says, I love sweet potatoes. I always roast them on the fire. Uh, Didn't I tell y'all? Everybody, everybody except us in the U.S. roasting their food on the fire. That brings the flavor and he brings it. He uh, eats it with the ground nut sauce. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, that I love good. the peanut stew. So, or the ground nut stew. Hey there, Good Eats Homestead. We're asking you all how you eat your potatoes. They're full of fiber. Corey started us off with a story about potatoes and his cousin Betty dipping snuff and putting your eye drops over top of the potato, bengay. rubbing on bengay on top of the potato salad. We don't want our potatoes like that, right? We do want our potatoes a different way. Go ahead, Corey, about, about what Yaki said. So, Because I have another video clip, too, Yaki, before we run the next race. Yaki Awakening said you want to get your uh, fiber from your fruits, your vegetables. That's the way, those are the best sources of fiber, and that is correct. You don't want to keep reaching for the Metamucil because your body becomes conditioned to that, and it can lead to some gastrointestinal problems. But you can also find fiber in some other unexpected places. For example, I'm going to put my... We'll be taking a coffee break momentarily. And so. we shall, we shall and the Hold on, Corey, because something ain't right with this internet, and we got to say hello to Duval, City hey, Girl Gardener. Duval, you're just in time to find out. And if I'm not mistaken, these are flax seeds. Yes, these are the flax seeds. Mm -hmm. Flax seeds are an excellent source of that nutritional fiber. 
<clears throat> again, we've talked to you before about how flax seeds can help you have that smooth noon. But flax seeds are also great because they have that soft, soluble fiber that acts like security. Think about trash can waves. You know, trash can waves is a firearm. Hold on a second, Corey. Something ain't right with this internet. Let me let me just try one more thing, okay? Because we're saying hello to Duval, and I don't want you to lose what you're saying about flax seeds. I do want to let G. Albert know that Brussels sprouts are okay. They are one of the best things with the sulforaphanes to fight cancer along with carrots. Yep. Uh, Yaki awakened. Uh, Aris Latam, uh, master herbalist Aris Latam, he definitely agrees with. So yes, I'm going to switch the internet one more time and we'll see if they in here. Okay. All right. Let's just cross our fingers. We're going to come back in a moment. I think we're back. So you all can let us know if this is better. Because we're just about done with today's show. And we're going to run another race before we get out of here. But yes, I know, G. Albert, I think we were connected to two different things. And look, we got to get rid of this AOL dial-up, right? <laughs> <sighs> so... Like we were saying before, as far as you're getting your vegetables in, you know, there are other ways as vegetables and fruits of fiber. There are other ways to get fiber. Flax seeds. And flax seeds are great. And I said, let's take trash can ways. Trash can ways is a firearm and weapons specialist. And he probably could easily get hired as security. Now, if there were some people in a crowded concert or at a festival that got rowdy, trash can waves would be the one that would come usher them out of there. That's what mm -hmm. soluble fiber does in your blood. It finds the rowdy sugar that's that you glucose that you've eaten from a sugary meal, or it finds the extra fats and cholesterol that you might have, in, have ingested, and it grabs on it, it binds to it and ushers it out through your weight. That's how fiber works because most people think about fiber, they think about roughage, the stuff that goes through your system that your body can't digest, and then it comes on out. It helps things keep moving, but there's also that soluble fiber that ushers and stuff, like the glucose, extra glucose, and extra fat out of your bloodstream as well. So, so we have we show you the flax seeds, another secret weapon that's a, chia. a good ursher, a good ursher for the, for fiber is chia seeds. Chia seeds, and we have great recipes there with uh, different overnight oats recipes and different ways that Laquita has incorporated chia I seeds. I don't use them with my potatoes because, like I said, I like mashed potatoes. I like scallop potatoes, so I do make those. Earlier this week, I made some uh, wedges, potato wedges, where just like for breakfast, I'll slice the potatoes, fry them in the pan for the kids. They can dip them in ketchup or they eat them plain. I season them. Um, earlier this week, I also cooked potatoes, onions, carrots, and garlic, kind of just stewed it together. Uh, so let us know, you know, how do you like your potatoes? Should we show them the other video clip before the final race? Because we're at 28 minutes. Let's go ahead and show them the other video clip that talks about five. All right, so y'all, we're going to try this other video clip. We think we stabilized uh, ourselves right now. So we're going to show you one more video clip. And this is about fiber. And this is probably uh, just one or so. Thank you so much, Duval. I'm going to put you in the race twice just for that. Thank you for answering. Mm -hmm. All right, so this video clip on fiber, y'all know we are crazy about fiber, but not fiber, fruits and vegetables, because we heard from Yaki. Do not eat that isolated fiber. Don't eat the orange powder. Don't eat any of those powders. Those are isolated and they will back you up. Just get your fiber from the foods, fruits and vegetables. That's what all the doctors and master herbalists say. And this lady here, her name is Glucose Goddess. She's on Tom Bilyeu's channel. And this particular channel that I'm going to show you, it is um, from Tom Bilyeu's channel, right? Thank you, Prince Ioko. I appreciate that. He says, your video is good. I know he's getting back to work because y'all know he has several businesses over there in Ghana. So this particular video, it's coming right now. So all vegetables, fiber, fiber, super Why? because fiber is incredibly protective in your digestive system, especially in your gut lining, so in the intestinal walls, to reduce any glucose foods like starches and sugars that you might gain. So we need to try and Because fiber. glucose is 
going to be the punchline problem. Because all right. That's all you get, you all. We can link that video into the comments as well. But that particular video from Tom Bilyeu is uh, full of good information. It's about two hours long. Y'all know I'm always listening to the one or two hour chats. But I say we go ahead and run the race again because Veggie Veggie is heading out. Uh, trash Can is at the gym in between his breaks at work. So I say we go ahead ahead and run the final race for you. All right, here we go. No, we got to make sure that um, you, I know what you're going to say, because I don't know if you can be trusted. Can't, what are you going to say, Corey? I'm going to say all your marks get set and you can say go. Okay. All yeah. right. Um, wait, was there anybody other than Duval and Prince Ayoko that I needed to add into the race? Um, yeah, I believe you on the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Duval in there, you said? Yep. And there was one more person that got in there, it seems like. I know. Thank you, Coach Mary. She's saying that's very useful info. And so is the everyday life of an OCD ish chick. Well, you know I'm what? Uh oh, that's who it is. Nikki. No, no, Nikki was in there. Yes, Nikki is in there. Yeah. So uh thank you all. Now here is the uh fiber video from the live stream. Uh I'm just gonna, you know, just kind of throw it in there. It's in the comments, okay? Because it's that one is not in the description. Um, look at uh, G. Albert. Yes, yes, Corey. Kiss. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go for it, y'all. The final race. And if you would like, click on that video. We're about to end the show. So we're going to thank our sponsors and show you this video. I mean, not this video clip. Plant-based treat. This plant-based treat. No, I was going to say we're going to show them this um, duck race. Okay. All, All right. right. Ready? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. So I've got everybody in the race and um, I've got it all set for just 20 seconds so that way you know we can hit it in. ready mm -hmm. on your marks get set go <laughs> who's in there oh we're seeing everything is flashing i hope we stay on the screen mm -mm -mm. I don't know because I don't hear anything, but oh, pulling up from the rear, Coach Mary Ma. Hey. That's when you cook on the fire, and she's like a panda duck. Coach Mary Ma, trash can waves was second, Gail at night was third. Then we got Veggie Veggie, TWP popcorn in the top five. Prince Ioko, all the way from Ghana, Valizi Uchi. She's over there in uh, the Welsh lands, but. Octus, the everyday life of an OCD is chick. G. Albert, Mary and Maude pulled you. Our Nigerians made it to the top 10. David Hunt, Rambo Greenhands, Duval, and then Duval again, and Good Eats Homestead. Yes, about in the chat. It came in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Coach Barry Ba is in there saying, uh, let's go. Yes, yes, absolutely. You have won. Congratulations to you, Coach Rima. Y'all, let's thank our sponsors before we say goodbye, because, you know, we have um, a bunch of fun in here with our signals. But thank you for making that link pretty, Gail, at night. We appreciate it. The name of that video, watch the top foods you must eat to lose weight and end inflammation. It is a very insightful talk. It's high level um, if you get bored with a lot of technical terms. But I've been a nurse for a long time, and that stuff just intrigues me. Um, Coach Mary Ma is saying thanks, everyone. One. Are ready? For what? Wait, for the, uh, the video. I mean, the, the, coffee, um, break. the coffee break. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You got to just like, you know, here we go. Introduce it or something. And this broadcast is brought to you in part by promotional by the following unmuted sponsors. Absolutely. Thank you to our sponsors. We do appreciate you. This week on Blind Guy His Wife Live Show. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 11 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday, don't have a heart attack, donate blood. Thursday, easy Ethiopian injera. Friday, fix your gut. Supreme Sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme Sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme Sponsor, Misa Cafe, Ethiopian Restaurant. 
wish list sponsor, JBWR. Check out his YouTube channel. Supreme sponsor, the American Red Cross Blood Bank. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. In this broadcast with and now it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. Wait a minute, because you know we gotta give Trash Can Waves his props. He says he's holding down that number two. You know, he was in there, uh, the number two duck. Oh, I thought he was talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, he's putting all his business out in the industry. No, 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 no. He was he number two. He must, be in in the race. he must be pushing hard with those weights in the gym. He's like, no, he actually was just a plain old duck, too, holding down at number two. It looks like there's a white wing on his back. And y'all know he is not a uh, an angel. But I don't know if y'all subscribe to our sponsors. Thank you, JBWR. We do appreciate your support. And, of course, G. Albert is reminding you all to subscribe to David Hunt. He's just about there at one of his goals. And why is Love and Live Show laughing? You know what? Let's get to the plant-based treats because we're almost in overtime on this Friday. Let's do it. And now. It's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. Y'all know we've been talking about potatoes. This potato salad is one that you can enjoy. Potato salad. I have about eight potatoes. I'm just going to cube them up. Potatoes help you have the healthy bones and heart with their iron, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, vitamin B6, vitamin C, fiber, and potassium. Cover and boil for eight to ten minutes until it's almost soft. It's really good. It's like... Why? It tastes like eggs are in it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you some more. An egg substitute for my potato salad. Got about a cup of water and I'm going to add some of my bouillon. Uh, take out like a tablespoon. Potatoes also have folate which helps with cell repair and prevents DNA mutations that may lead to cancer. Half a teaspoon of curry. We're going to chop up our tofu. Make sure you get the super firm. Curry has a variety of anti-inflammatory spices like turmeric, coriander, and chili powder. Tofu is full of isoflavones, which reduce the risk of heart disease, breast cancer, and osteoporosis. Just add all of the tofu in here. Remove the cooked potatoes from the water. About a teaspoon of salt, or, about, or more, like two tablespoons of sugar. Let's add the condiments. I'm going to start with the mustard because you just put a good squeeze, like two teaspoons. About three tablespoons to start of the veginase, two tablespoons of relish. Gently mix in the condiments. About a fourth of an onion. Onions are full of vitamin C for fighting cold and prostate and lung cancers. So this is what the black salt looks like. Black salt has antioxidant properties and it's surprisingly low in sodium. It has iron, calcium, magnesium, and reduces heartburn and bloating. Why are you moving your spoon like that? <laughs> trying to dip it in again? I see you. All right. Do you have any hot dogs with this? Right, y'all. All right. G. Albert, don't come for us. Come on, that don't look like that potato salad is being cooked over that hot, that nice and hot wood burning <laughs> stove, that wood burning fire. Y'all, uh, yeah, I told you we're in the U.S. We don't have the fire, but Nikki, I'm with you. Potatoes help with cellular repair. That's why I like French fries so much, girl. Man, you like French fries because you like that deep fried fat. That's what you like. Yeah, that's and the part salt. I like. That's the part we all like when it comes to French fries. But you want to make sure you eat your potatoes in as close to a whole form as possible. And thank you all for all your recipes today. The way that you eat uh, potatoes, Duval says she's going to look for black salt. You know what? We have some. Blindguystories.com forward slash Amazon. It's blindguystories.com. Look in our international Amazon. Yes, in the, in the international kit, the international food kit. We have black salt right in there. You can order it, get it delivered right to your door. How do we say goodbye, Corey? We counted you down to the weekend. Make sure you get your fiber in so you're not backed up, my friends. And with that, you always win. And we say deuce. No, no, you got to say deuce. It's like Nikki's supposed to say goodbye to the fat and the french fries. Like, oh, yeah, right, Corey, that part. <laughs> so you got to say goodbye to, uh, we're going to say goodbye the same way Nikki would say goodbye if someone handed her a uh, extra large order of deep fat fry, uh, french fries. She's going to say, Deuces! Deuces.